Good evening. It's nine o'clock, almost. Literally almost. <laughs> uh, I've had a busy day. It doesn't look like it when you look at the lounge. Because I actually haven't done anything in here. But I can show you what I've done. Hmm. <sighs> uh, when I've just done my pants up, I've got a really itchy spot right on my waist. And of course, the elastic. Oh, well, I'm wearing jeans, so they're not really elastic, but you know what I mean. The waistband of my jeans has been rubbing on it, so I sort of uh, undid everything to. Oh! Loosen it all up, so it won't rub and I think it's the belt buckle. Anyway, now that I'm done up. <laughs> right. Light. I've been uh, very, very busy. I'm not going to show you out in the cupboard because it's getting a bit late, but I have been working in the outside cupboard. I've been doing some work in here. That's the first thing I've done. I've made a start. I've got some more tubs to use and I've put a bunch of bike parts all in the bottom here. These mud guards may not stay there. Um, but I needed to get them off the landing so I've got brake levers. Hang on a minute. I'm going to use the LEDs on the camera because uh, they're not actually that brilliant. They're good for close up, but not for distance. And the flashlight I'm wanting, I did see. <laughs> no, I can't see it. Is this one good? Uh, won't be good enough. We'll have a look. <laughs> this is because, I don't know, it just seems to be all dark and yeah. Blue tub has now got all my Duralia mechs in, and the red tub the Duralias were in, which is over the back there, has got all the free wheels and cassettes in. Basket full of brake levers. This sort of beige tub is all full of seats and seat posts. And I've chucked my box of reflectors on top. A couple of bags of light brackets. They won't be staying there. Uh, I'm doing away possibly with both my big yellow tubs. One is empty. And I've got a big green box on the landing out here. I'll tell you what, hang on. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Not two tubs there, three tins there actually. Oh no. I'll find something else to put all that in. Free to good on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's not actually looking that much better in here to be honest. Uh, only because I had to throw a load of stuff back in here when I'd done, but all my wheels are stacked tidily to the back there. Tyres to the front here. Ooh. Yeah, the tyres, I'm hoping I can. Uh, get into the shed downstairs so yeah I've, I've been busy I just need to get busy in here at some point but I don't know if mum wants to risk going to a car boot tomorrow because uh, I'm not actually sure what the weather's weather is meant to be um, well we're not meant to get rain rain we're just meant to get showers but we're supposed to get rain today as well, and we didn't, well, we didn't get nothing to uh, 
worry about, not really. <laughs> so, as I said to a friend uh, who I was talking to on Yahoo, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, because I've done something that's really pissed me off. Um, I never thought I'd actually have too many bike parts, but I have. I've got too many. Um, I've got loads of wheels, but the problem is most of those are front wheels. I mean, I've got shitloads of wheels at Mum's as well. I've got wheels coming out my fucking ass, literally. <laughs> I've got a pair in here still to swap over with the ones that are currently in my Grey Claude. I've still got the handlebar tape to put on my road bike and I've got to change the rear drive. Well, I don't have to, I want to. Um, still got the green rally max to finish, sort of now. <laughs> but yeah, Yahoo, apparently, I've been getting a message through Yahoo Messenger. And it does go to the yahoo.com website, the link that this message posts. They're discontinuing all old versions, and all old versions will no longer work as of 31st of August. They've just released a new one. Huh? So in other words, they're forcing you to use this new one, right? Now, there's the icon. I'm going to click on it. Doesn't look too bad at the minute, does it? Still doesn't look too bad, you know, nothing to complain about yet. What do you mean sign into my account? I was signed in yesterday. So now we hit next. Password. Um, would it be believable to say that I've actually forgotten? <laughs> I think it's this one. Not in. Oh. Did I do it that way? No, because I don't use a mobile anyway. This, this to me just looks fucking horrible. You know, it's got recent messages sent to me. Who the fuck is Andy Pandy? You know, invite your friends to Yahoo mess Messenger, I mean. Where's my contact list? Where? It's an edit. Something there that isn't... I've got this, there's no profile pic there. Got privacy settings, block people, get help, sign out. Uh, <laughs> under preferences, you've just got run at startup, enable notifications, hide at startup, disable notification sound. This I really don't know what the fuck they've done with it, but if this is true and they're going to go ahead and uh, mm. 
Where's my buddy list? Why isn't my contact list there? You're supposed to hit this thing and then search for a name. But if you're like me and have a bad memory, I'm not going to bloody remember all my names. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Seriously, if they go through with that, I'm gonna just not bother with Yahoo Messenger anymore. Right, what else? Oh, yes. I've got a choo choo train set. I don't think I'll keep it. <laughs> Because it's a, <laughs> you know, it's just an old Tommy battery operated train. But uh, the only reason I got that is because it had this Lego in it. And you probably think that's not a lot, but trust me, I paid five pounds for the lot and I could get my money back and more. Just on these two pieces of train track. And I ain't kidding. On these two pieces alone, I could get my money back and more. Same as if I sold that green base plate there that came with it. I'm not going to because I want them. And I want these as well. Because this has actually finally inspired me to try and get a Lego train. Which I could actually make go around this town if I really wanted to. <laughs> it would mean modifying some of these tables, but I could do it. Yeah, this is two pieces here, by the way. The join is right there. Can you see it? That's where the join is. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm actually quite lucky that I found the straight pieces of track in there because they're the sought after pieces. Because Lego is quite crafty in how they get money out of you. <laughs> um, what they do, and they do the same with their road plates. The most common piece you need are straight pieces. You always need straight roads more than bends. You always need straight pieces of train track more than bends. So do you know what they do? When they sell a Lego train set, they put more bends in it than straight pieces. And when you buy upgrade track packs, you know, to add to your existing railway, you always get one straight and one bend. Same with the roads. One straight piece of road or one bend. Or one straight and one cross row. That's another one they love to do. So, you have to buy all these poxy bloody packs to get a straight piece if you want a brand new straight piece. And you end up with loads of cross road sections and bends that you don't bloody use because you don't need them. Um... Which is also daft, because, you know, that's a waste as well. On Lego's part, but never mind. That's the way they choose to do business, you know. I suppose I'm being a hypocrite, because I always pick on the way Apple do their business, but... <laughs> perhaps I shouldn't in future now. But if I do, then feel free to call me a hypocrite. Right, um... 
pretty certain Mum's going to phone me later tonight, and we'll decide on tomorrow. It'd be nice to go, but I'm not really... What's wrong with me this year, especially lately? No, not actually this year, I'd say over the last sort of month or so, I've just lost all enthusiasm. I used to be really enthusiastic about going to car boots and chroma carnival and whatnot, and just lately I've just not had it. <laughs> There's no enthusiasm whatsoever. Oh well. Oh, I've got a couple of bits uh, in the... It's a hospice charity shop, and I can't remember the name of the hospice. But I got... What did we get? Right said Fred. Up. And I believe that is an album. What was the other one? Greatest Hits from the Eurythmics. Oops. Fast car game. The graphics actually don't look too bad on this for a game its age. Well, I say its age, I haven't actually looked at the details on it yet, so... Oh, you can play the CD tracks as well. I know you can do that with some PlayStation 1 games. They will actually play the tracks in a CD player, because I used to do that myself. Anyway, well, I don't know, it might be a demo of some sort. I don't know, it was cheap and that just looked interesting to me. Uh, Well, this shows how old this one is. WWF Smackdown 2. So I don't have any wrestling games for any of my consoles, so... What was this? £1.50. So I figured, why not? I can just add that to the PS1 collection. And now that's what I call music. 57 That was £2. So I think it's a fair price for that. Both discs are there. But I am trying to build up a collection of the Now That's What I Call Music range. And I was actually looking in Sainsbury's at their entertainment section the other day. And uh, Now That's What I Call Music. They had shed loads of various different discs there. Now That's What I Call Music Rock. And Now That's What I Call Music R&B. And all sorts of things they had there. Not just, you know, because this series is, you know, the number ones of that year. Actually, I think they release this twice a year. Well, I'm now up to 90-something. And I've started in the 80s, and they still go. What have we got? Britney Spears. Kellis. Jamelia. Kylie Minogue. Justin Timberlake, Enrique Iglesias, featuring Kellis. The Black Eyed Peas, Two Play, featuring Raghav and J Jaxi. Peter Andre, Mysterious Girl. Oh yeah, that's when he released it. DJ Casper, The Cha Cha Slide. This would have been... Is that about 2006? Is there a copyright on this? Because I should say copyright blah blah blah. Two thousand and four. That would actually make more sense. Do yeah. I don't know what I said. Two thousand six. I remembered the Cha Cha Slide came out when I was in the youth hostel many years ago. <laughs> Fuck, I feel old now. Uh, which would have been 2004, yeah. 
because I moved out of the youth hostel into my first apartment in 2005. So yeah, I should have got that really. 2006, you nuts. Ooh, Blink-182. Busted. <sighs> Might get soaked in a bath before mum rings, because I am sweaty, I am filthy. And I'm just not very pleasant to be around. Right. Yeah. So I didn't get to start on that muddy fox today. Well, I figured I should get everything sorted out first. And uh, half of that crap on that landing is going to go down the dump Sunday when I go to Mum's. I'll do it tomorrow, but if we're going to the car boot, then I can't. Because we'll go straight to the car boot from here. Possibly. Or possibly from here straight to Mum's, then straight to the car boot. If we did that, I'd ask her to swing around by the dump on the way back to hers. So I can get rid of that crap that's out on that landing. But uh, if she rings tonight, I'll ask her. But, uh, like I said, I'm not that enthusiastic, to be honest. Uh, I wonder if Nemo is still there. No, he was feeding, but, uh, and the number of times I've actually came in here today and uh, found him sleeping on this drawer. I've got a photo on the camera, actually. Yeah. And you know what? I'm thinking of actually throwing those lights in the bin. Because they're actually pissing me off. <laughs> so much stuff has pissed me off, I've been so tempted to chuck things out. That's got to go. I've got a use for that tub. Uh, I actually had a bit of a play on GTA last night. I was up bored. Yeah, so... No, I haven't got the room in here yet. Mind you, it wouldn't take me two minutes to make the room in here. Because <laughs> that bag of washing can go in the bedroom. That box needs to be sorted really really needs to be sorted there's a few bits in there though that can actually go straight into this box because I'm going to put when I come out of like accessories and things in this box bells the odd few bike stands that I've got spare uh, bottle cages bar ends etc in fact I might go through those bells and chuck some of them out because they are really cheap shit and if they're scratched to crap they ain't worth it but I can't actually remember what I did with them they were down there and that kid I swapped that Claude Butler frame with for my Schwinn he's already fucked it already fucked it up same way he fucked up the Claude Butler. Drader get caught in the wheel, snaps it round, bends the drader, fucks the wheel. I have he did put another wheel in it and I have replaced the drader on it, but might have to uh, start bloody charging if he's gonna keep coming back like that. And that Dr. Wheel good apparently turned around and said Drolia really wasn't set up properly well I know for a fact it fucking was so don't give me that bullshit because I set it up and I always do it to make sure it doesn't get caught in the wheel so he was obviously 
He's already said he did a jump on it. Uh, yeah, he did the jump on it, then apparently he went over a speed bump, and that's when the dryer went, because it's... I'm not sure I entirely believe the story. But anyway. It's actually pissed me off. Because instead of ringing the buzzer, he comes upstairs and knocks straight on my door. And why does that piss me off? Because I like peace. Especially when I'm having a busy day like today. And I keep closing the back door so he can't just waltz in. And bastards downstairs keep leaving it open. I don't mind if they've gone out and they're going to come back, like I do. But they leave it open all day, and there's just no need to leave it open all day. Victory Housing has sent us numerous letters. Letters? Letters? Letters. We're going to eat lettuce. <laughs> Try again. Victory Housing, who owns the building, have sent us numerous letters asking us not to leave the doors open. Yes, they've got hooks on them, but they're meant to be so you can hook them open if you're moving furniture or whatnot in and out. Not all day, so every Tom, Dick and Harry can uh, just waltz in, because it's not very secure. That's why they're classed as security doors. That's why I cannot get a key cut for them doors at a normal key cutting place. I tried because my brother, lo when my brother was living here, he had a set of keys as well, so he didn't have to keep rigging the buzzer to get in. And he got into a fight when he was drunk once and lost the keys, so I thought I'd go and get a spare one cut. I can't do it. Because the keys are different. They need a certain machine to cut the security notches into it. That's what it is. Is it that? Or was it... No, they need a... I think it's a special type of um, template. Which they don't stock. So you'd have to go to a proper specialist to get them cut. So yeah, if I lose my key, I'm fucked. Although I do know the code to the key safe out back. Got a key safe out there so the care nurses can get in. Although the new ones don't seem to know it. Because they keep going around the front and ringing the buzzer. For, you know, their patients. Because uh, really, bless her, she's um, got really bad hips. And as a two or three times over the last couple of years or so, she's been in hospital because she's fallen and broken her hip and whatnot. So uh, she's not very mobile, so she gets care nurses go and see her. John John lives down the other side. He's just the same, bless him. It sort of makes you think, you know, if they're in that much bloody pain, it's no wonder these old people are grumpy, or some of them are grumpy. I suppose we would be as well if we were in pain 24-7. I don't know, maybe I'm a bit more sympathetic because uh, both my mum and sister work in care homes. And I didn't used to be this sympathetic. Mind you, on a Thursday and Friday in town, the old people do get on my nerves when I'm out and about. I know it's not their fault, but... <laughs> You'll be walking down an aisle and I'll just stop dead right in front of you completely oblivious to the fact that you're there or that anything else is around them, you know. <laughs> and of course, because of their age, they walk so slow. Again, probably because, you know, walking is painful, or, you know, the stiff joints, because they're arthritic. But again, when you're young like me, it can be annoying, because, well, not young, I suppose I find it a bit more annoying, because I'm I'm literally the type, because of my autism as well, that I just want to go in the store, go around the store as fast as I can and get everything I want and get out. I don't like hanging around. 
Mind you, I think I'd be like that even if I didn't have autism. I just don't like pissing around. So I don't like going in with mum. Because uh, she's not the type that would just grab, say, that the first pack of ham that's laying on the top of the pile. She's got to dig through them all and pick the one that she likes the look of the most. Even though you're not going to see it because it's going to be wedged between two slices of bread, but... Um, although Mum did teach me some good you know, tricks, such as uh, feeling a loaf of bread to make sure you get the fresh one, so it's not dry as a bleeding bone when you get it home. Ugh. I hate dry bread. Uh, and to pick in the freezer department, especially the open top freezers that a lot of supermarkets have, to actually pick the bags from the bottom because they're going to be frozen better than the ones on the top. Um, and for years, Mum has, whenever she's gone to the deli counter, the delicatessen, she's and she's ordered like ham she's always said I don't know however, however many slices she wants for example six slices not the first she never wants the first slice and it has actually taken me many 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 years well I'd say many years but it's pretty much since I can remember to actually realize why that is because the meat is obviously on the delicatessen is sitting out in the air and in the open so that first surface can get dry and you don't know what's been on it. I know they have all the fly insect cues and whatnot but some flies are crafty bastards and they can still land on things so yes because it's I actually said to mum months ago actually when it finally dawned on me that the reason she does it is because it's not as fresh as the ones underneath some people could call her choosy, which I suppose in a way she is. I mean, it wouldn't bother me. But uh, Mum has been a bit picky like that. <laughs> so <laughs> it makes me laugh because she'll have a glass of cola during the day, which she might top up. But come tea time, when her glass has been stood around, she wants a clean glass. And I asked her why, and she said, because flies land on it. So when she was dishing up dinner, I said, what difference does that make, because flies are landing on your dinner anyway? Because <laughs> I don't know what it is with her house, but that it attracts flies galore. I actually pissed them off, because I go around with the electro electric racket thing, electrocuting them all. But I leave them laying everywhere. <laughs> I try not to, but because she's got a black worktop, and the flies are black, if they land on the worktop, I can't see the fucking things. Anyway, just a few random stories there, actually. I didn't intend on uh, doing that. Ow! Yep, I don't think I have to move the camera for you to know what just made me yelp. He's actually done it a lot worse. That was actually quite um, tame, I suppose we could say. But yeah. Ow! <laughs> right. Oh, that reminds me. I'll just look down at my PC there. I've got to build one for my cousin. Because he's using a Windows XP. And uh, it really is starting to show its age now because there's things like uh, Adobe Flash is not compatible with it. New versions of Firefox not compatible. Chrome not compatible. <laughs> no, they're all starting now to um, end compatibility with Windows XP. It's quite sad, really. So it was a decent um, operating system. It's one of my favourites and still is. I still love playing around on it. But hey ho, things move on. Right, well I've got to turn the camera off before I ramble on much more.
or go into any more bloody stories. Pour myself another drink. Um, I was going to sort some more small bike parts out, but I don't know if I can be asked tonight. No. It's been tempting for me to go across to the garage and get something sweet to nibble on, but I'll save that till the morning. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, one of these days I will get part four and five. In fact, I'll make a promise I'll do that this weekend. I'll get four and five up. Might do them the same day, I might not. Depends how I feel. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.